The clinical radiology and interventional radiology curricula are based around capabilities in practice, or SIPs. These describe the capabilities that are required of a day one consultant. Assessment of the SIPs is based on the concept of entrustable professional activities. Entrustable professional activities, or EPAs, are tasks that a trainee can be entrusted to perform once competence has been demonstrated. Observations, workplace-based assessment and examinations will be used to inform the supervisor's judgment of a trainee's overall ability to perform the task described by each SIP. As a trainee progresses, they will be assessed in this way multiple times by multiple people and in various contexts, and this will be recorded in their e-portfolio. If a trainee can be entrusted to perform a task, then they must have the knowledge, skills and behaviours that underpin this task. When we assess a SIP, we are automatically assessing these underlying competencies. Assessment of a SIP provides an assessment of the underlying knowledge, skills and behaviours that allow a trainee to competently perform the SIP. This makes EPAs a manageable way of using one assessment to judge a range of knowledge, skills and behaviours. Entrustable professional activities are essentially the knowledge, the skills, the behaviours that we would expect a trainee to possess at CCT and therefore those which we would expect any consultant in the NHS to possess on day one. Clinical radiology and interventional radiology both use a four-point entrustment scale. For the generic SIPs, level one describes a trainee who requires support and guidance throughout. Level 2, where a trainee is working towards competence but still requires some support and guidance. Level 3, a trainee who possesses the skills to act independently and seek support where necessary. And Level 4, a trainee who is highly skilled and able to lead and support others. For the specialty SIPs, Level 1 describes a trainee that is entrusted to observe only with no provision of direct clinical care. Level 2, a trainee would be entrusted to perform tasks with direct supervision. For IR procedures, the supervising doctor is present in the operating theatre. Level 3, a trainee is entrusted to act with indirect or minimal supervision. The supervisor may not be present at the site of patient care, but is immediately available to provide advice and can attend to provide direct supervision if necessary. For IR procedures, the supervising doctor is on hand in the department. Level 4. The trainee is entrusted to act unsupervised and at a level equivalent to a consultant. The four-point entrustment scale describes a level at which um, a trainee will be entrusted to do a competency in practice. So it will start with observe only, then being entrusted with direct supervision, then entrusted to indirect supervision and then independent. So it's quite intuitive. The curriculum includes progression grids. The progression grids specify the minimum entrustment level trainees should achieve for each SIP and procedure at each stage of training. Trainees should achieve the entrustment level given in the progression grids for their stage of training as a minimum, although they may achieve above this level in some SIPs. The progression grid provides a clear um, expectation of level for each year of training um, so a trainee has a clear idea of the minimum level of entrustability required at each year of training. To summarise, entrustable professional activities are tasks which a trainee can perform once they have demonstrated sufficient competency. The SIPs describe the entrustable professional activities that a consultant radiologist must perform. Assessing the SIPs allows the underlying knowledge, skills and behaviours to be assessed, providing an effective tool for supervisors to plan teaching, provide feedback and assess progress. And progression grids provide a clear expectation of what trainees should be capable of at each stage in their training. The new curricula will be implemented by August 2020. All trainees, except those due to achieve their CCT before September 2021, must transfer to the new curricula.